Hi guys, uh, I was going to drop this in at the end, but I'll just uh, say quickly at the beginning. Uh, in case any of you are wondering what's happening with the Range Rover, we've still got it. We're still ongoing with the project, um, but we are still waiting for uh, some parts, in particular uh, the, the roof skin. Uh, that can't happen at the moment because of the COVID-19 situation. Uh, so uh, anybody is still interested in watching that project, bear with us and uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, with that as soon as we can uh, and so let's get over now to the TVR project morning guys hope you're all keeping well uh, okay so this morning we're gonna have a go at removing this slave cylinder uh, clutch slave cylinder off the TVR uh, if you remember um, we said we'd bought a new one but it's off a, a Land Rover so it comes at half the price to the TVR product and uh, it also means we can replace that quite easily um, if we need to at a later date uh, rather than trying to source an original TVR item. The only difficult part with that is the pipe, the input pipe to the slave cylinder may be a slightly different thread so we'll we'll find that out when we've uh, took it off so so let's get started. Okay so it's pretty obvious where the uh, fluid's been leaking there isn't it? It's dripping down the chassis rail took all the paint off so we're gonna have to uh, revisit this paintwork as well on the uh, on the chassis. In fact, it'd be a good idea to do all of it actually. It all needs a good uh, look at. So that's a, a job for us as well this week, I think. Yeah, that's, that's fiberglass. Okay. Okay, so there's the slave cylinder. Looks fairly easy to get to. The top bolt might be a little, bit, bit, uh, a little difficult to get to, but the uh, bottom one's easy enough. And the pipe should be easy enough on the end. It's quite obvious where it's leaking, actually. Okay, so the securing bolts are out. And uh, it's not coming off because of the pipes holding it. I think it's quite a rigid pipe there, so... I think we're going to have to um, take the pipe off first. I was hoping we could take the pipe off after we took the cylinder off, but uh, that's not going to happen. Okay, so let's get the pipe off. Well, that's it. It's off. That's it. It's off. And that is not in great condition at all. <laughs> oh, that is, that's pretty bad. That was well past its sell by date. I had to leave the pipe in in the end. We did the undid the pipe um, at the uh, master cylinder end. Not sure about this pipe. I might see if I can get another pipe made up that's a uh, flexible material. Not really sure about that. It doesn't uh, seem to sit well with me having a solid pipe with a cylinder that uh, uh, will move relative to the chassis, if you like. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get the pipe off. Okay, right, now it's time to find out whether the pipe will fit or not. Let's uh, get that end bung out and take a look. And the answer is the pipe will not fit. So the, uh, the thread on the um, new slave cylinder is a coarser thread than the, uh, the old cylinder. So uh, we've got a contact, they are still producing uh, even though there's a lockdown uh, for delivery. So we'll get online in a bit and see if we can get this pipe measured up and get to uh, coarse fittings. Um, hopefully I can get a flexible pipe because I, I do want to get rid of this uh, completely solid pipe. It doesn't, doesn't work for me. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we'll leave that uh, there for now, guys. Right guys, so uh, I've ordered uh, a new pipe from a company called uh, Automec. Uh, I think it's about £13 plus delivery. So that's going to come in a couple of days time, so we can get cracking on that when it arrives. Um, one thing we did notice was that the bleed nipple for the slave cylinder had been installed um, at the bottom, or, or, or at least the slave cylinder had been 
put in so that the bleed nipple nipples at the bottom. Uh, that's not correct. Um, the bleed nipple should be on the top. So we'll be looking at that when we um, put the car back together. Um, if the bleed nipples at the bottom, you're going to have difficulty uh, bleeding the slave cylinder. So um, that's something to look for. Right then guys, we'll leave it there and we'll come back to it in a couple of days time hopefully. So uh, take care, stay safe, speak to you soon.